after some scenes upsetting some folks in our studio today. Those are from Topeka, Kansas. We're talking to two high school students today, Sam and James, who believe they should get community service credit for their Topeka, Kansas high school, from their high school, rather, for picketing against gays in their town. We have just heard from Shirley, Sam's mom, and you say you agree with this. Yes, you think they should get credit. Absolutely. How, you know, a lot of people have a problem understanding how a young person can come out and hate a group of people. That, that makes some people feel very uncomfortable. You support this. Why? Well, first of all, you misunderstand when you think that these boys hate anybody. I mean, how do you tell your son before he goes out there to picket, what do you tell him? Go out there and stand your position. I don't I tell him anything. He's been sitting in church listening to the Bible all of his life. Ma'am, I want to answer the question. He's been sitting in church listening to the Bible, what else does and whether or not hate? these people know the Bible, when hates. they die and what they split hell teach? wide open, that won't comfort them any. Sam, do you hate gays? No. Oh. How can you love a person more than just to tell them the truth? I don't hate anybody. To warn them to flee from the Bible the wrath says to, to love you. To neighbor. warn this them the that that God, God <laughs> that God that destroyed Sodom, is not dead. From the audience, God loves everybody in the world, no matter what they're gay or what. Where'd you get that silly idea? What right do you have to tell anybody about their sexuality? They do not choose it. Every God right loves oh, everyone. So you every say that right you don't hate gay folks. No, you in the blue. Every the one in the blue right beside the his mother. Cry aloud, not you. Not I'm not talking to you. I'm talking, I'm talking to him. You said that you do not hate gays. Is that right? Exactly. Then why are you showing signs that says God hates gays? That's saying that you hate them too. Then why are you provoking all of this? I'll answer this one more time. You need to go home to Kansas. This is the third time. The highest form of love. to tell people the truth. Tell us a bit, Shirley, about your father who's written up in the Kansas Topeka Capital Journal this morning saying that he is nationally known as the vicar of hate and the transmitter of trash. You cannot, you cannot preach Bible, you cannot preach the Bible without including God's hate and his wrath. Well, let's include your father because this, this, this anti-gay protest seems to be a family affair for your family. It's a church It started, with your, it's started church with your father and has I'm, moved on to three generations. Excuse me. Yes. I'm not point. even related to this. Okay. You but in her you family. You can't just say that it's only family. That's insulting. Well, it's not insulting yeah. when I have the grandfather, the mother, and the grandson. Well, that so says to me what? three generations what? of family. What about me? What about my family? What about the two or three other families I in the church? I experienced her lovely we father this summer at our pride rally in New York, and he was outnumbered a thousandfold by the people and that Noah were there. And Noah only had eight. They were proud to be what so they are Noah only and happy eight, to be what they are, and we're not committing any sins or any crimes against now. anybody. What and we were there to say who Lot we were and people. where we're supposed to Lot be and that we should be viewed by everybody as equal to everybody. Come out with him. Him people and his like you deserve to burn in hell. People like you and Who your father going right? to people's funerals, telling them that their children are burning in hell because they died of a sin that had nothing to do with them. That's who should be burning in hell. Who's people like you and your Who's father. Who's judging who now? You're judging us because God has written this law upon your heart and your conscience pricks you when you hear it. Oh, I'm very sorry, but you're very sure wrong. The only person you that's you're committing the any crime that's is raging. you and your father. Yeah. And God has Mr. Phelps, who is Shirley's you. father and Sam's grandpa, spends a lot of money on his position. He's said to have spent $25,000 to fly 19 people to New York to picket the Gay Pride Parade. He also sent 12 people to San Francisco. And he's getting a lot of press. 82 newspapers picked up his name. Um, so this is quite a, a movement, uh, whether it's family or not, it's gaining some support there at least. Yeah. In response to you saying that God hates, Romans 8.38 says that nothing separates us from the love of God. Yeah. His, Neither love, his king, nor death, nor angels, nor principalities shall ever separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Do you believe in hell? Who's yes, the well, then, who I am a born again Christian. Who is in hell? And does God love those people? The entire does God Bible. Love those people? Excuse does me. Does he love those me. people or not? Okay, but what me. kind of a God is it that loves you and sends you to hell for eternity? We have a choice, okay? The Find out. Let me hear. Let me hear this lady. Let me hear this lady. He doesn't love the everyone. The Bible is a love note to us. God oh is a God. loving God the wrath and a forgiving of God. God. Is revealed from heaven against all ungodly. Well, let me get. Let me. Let me. Let me say this. Not every teenager in Topeka agrees with what Sam and James are doing. 
My next guest says that she's been watching these kinds of protests in Topeka ever since she was 11 years old. She's now 15, and Thea Franzman Cecil says she's happy to be part of another kind of movement in Topeka, a counter movement. She says instead of demonstrating, her group is celebrating diversity. And she... The good thing that we're seeing on either side, depending upon where you stand also, is that she, like Sam, has the support of one of her parents, Father Bill. And we'll hear your position from another family in Topeka when we come back. We'll be right back. Okay.